Hola, I'm Fivers and welcome to Revive Witch. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new UR doll that has just been released. The new doll is called Princess Amanami and she's a Mercury healer. As we always do, we're going to check her skills and passive at max level. Her skill 1 is called Autumn Oath. It costs 2 order energy and grants every ally a shield equal to 160% of Princess Amanami's attack that lasts 8 seconds. When the shield wears off, restores HP equal to 160% of Princess Amanami's attack for every ally unit. If the shield breaks before it wears off, inflicts the attacker with magic damage equal to 160% of Princess Amanami's attack. Basically, this skill 1 grants a shield to all allies which will restore HP to the shielded user if the shield is not destroyed within 8 seconds, and if the seal is broken before these 8 seconds, Princess Amanami will deal magic damage to the attacker who destroyed the seal. Then, her skill 2 is called Harmony's Ascent. It's a charge skill and restores HP equal to 200% of Princess Amanami's attack to all allies and grants them a stack of stride that lasts 15 seconds. A stride Every stack increases the target's attack by 15% and allows them to ignore the enemy's magic defense equal to 15% of Princess Amanami's attack when dealing damage. It stacks up to 3 times. This second ability heals all allies, and the interesting part of this ability is the straight stack it puts on all allies. This effect will increase the target's attack and allow them to ignore the enemy's magic defense when dealing damage. This effect can be stacked up to 3 times, so it can increase the target's attack by 45% and ignore the enemy's magic defense equal to 45% of Princess Amanami's attack at most. Pretty good. Then, her passive is called Whisper of Flower. Every use of Harmony's Ascent grants 2 Chaos Energy. This sounds really good. This passive is basically the same passive as the one of Amurai, with the difference that Amurai needs to use her skill 1 and Princess Amanami activates the passive when her change skill activates after using 4 skills in total. One of the benefits of this is that we don't really need to use any of Princess Amanami's abilities to passively get this extra Chaos energy, so we can focus on our mage or compeller's abilities. A simple downside to this that I just mentioned is that Amurai can create Chaos energy much faster with her passive than Princess Amanami. But in my opinion, I still think that is a pretty good passive. Now, let's take a look at her unique equipment. Her unique equipment is called Kalavin. At level 60, gives 3000 attack, 20,250 health, 15% of critical rate resistance, and 1275 magical defense. As always, I don't recommend you to level up the unique equipment to level 60. It takes too much materials. Every stack of stride on an ally increases the target's magic damage by 8%. So with 3 stacks, it will increase the target's magic damage by 24%. Actually, comparing it with other dolls, I think that this buff should be a bit higher, but it's still a good buff. And this makes her unique equipment a must if you are thinking about playing Princess Amanami in your main team. After taking a look at her entire kit and her unique equipment, I could say that Princess Amanami seems like a really good character on paper. She seems to have potential. We could actually use her in our team just as a passive doll, thanks to her skill 2, her passive and her unique equipment. I don't see the necessity of using her skill 1 unless you are desperate for some survival effect. But I think that she has potential as a team buffer more than as a healer. So, should you summon Princess Amanami? This is really hard to answer this time. Mercury has already a pretty strong team, with Ardisia to sacrifice, Edin, Maya, and Amanami appearing after Ardisia, for example. So, it would be hard to find a place for Princess Amanami if you already have these dolls that I just mentioned. But I think that she could be a good option for a team focus on ignore and shred magical defense, so this will be useful versus enemies with a high amount of magical defense. Princess Amanami seems like a good character, 
So if you still need someone to buff your mates and complete your Mercury team, she's a pretty good addition to your team and I think that you should try to get her. If you already have a strong Mercury team, I would recommend you to pull for her if you have enough soul save for the next doll. If not, I think that she has the potential to be a really good character, but I can't tell you if she will have any use in the next path not taken until we test her. I would recommend you to pull for her unique equipment at least one time, or buy it in the shop of unique equipment, but I think that the passive of her unique equipment is worth it. As always, if you like her design, just pull for her. At the end, we are here to have fun. And that's it for today's video, I hope that I have helped you. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment, drop a like and consider subscribing if you wanna see more Revive Witch content in the future, and see you in the next video, ciao!